A lot of you have been asking for me to explain the process I use to chop up STL files so they can be printed massive just like this one. Or just in general how to modify STL files in that fashion. Now, one of the more popular options is Mesh Mixer, but today we're going to talk about Bamboo Studio. Bamboo Studio is the slicer program that is default for the Bamboo Labs printers for anyone who may not know. And just in case you're wondering, you don't have to have a Bamboo Labs printer to use this tool to modify your STL files. Inside Bamboo Studio right here at the top is this nice little cut tool that I most frequently use to make sure that the bottom of my prints are completely flat. But let's say, for example, you wanted to take this print and chop it into a bunch of smaller pieces so that you could print it massive and with as little supports as possible. You would take this same cut tool and for just example, let's say you want to split it right down the middle here. You would adjust it and move to where you'd like the cut to be. And say that you'd like to keep both parts and go ahead and don't place on cut because it's not necessary for this step. You perform your cut and the body is now split into two pieces, your front and back. You still have both. Um, we can move this one to the side. Let's say you want to focus on the bottom. So let's make another cut right here at the bottom. And again, we're going to keep both pieces. And now we just have that back half. Probably still a little too big, right? If you're wanting to go like 600% scale, all you would have to do is cut it again. And let's say this time you want to split it in half this way. Just move your cut tool 180 degrees in each direction and align it where, wherever you feel necessary. Perform the cut again. Now you've broken it into multiple pieces and each of these is far more manageable to print than the one giant altogether piece. Now, what I've been doing to connect piece A to piece B is just using 3D Gloop and lining it up the best I can. But what if, for example, you wanted to have connectors so you didn't have to line it up just right, uh, the connections were already there for you, and you could just snap it together? Well, Bamboo Studio's cut tool has that for you as well. You would just hit this Add Connectors button right here. Um, maybe increase the size a little bit. I'm going to go frustum style shape hexagon. And let's just click a couple points. We'll put one here and one here. Now, when you confirm your connectors and perform the cut, if you look closely, you've got those connectors already included right there inside Bamboo Studio. And if you look here on top, you've got your positive parts and then you've got the negatives cut out right there. When you're finished breaking down your file how you'd like, Bamboo Studio also has the option to select your parts, right click it, and export as STL, where you can name it whatever you need. Part A, part B, head, bottom, anything. After that, you can then take that STL file and move it into the slicer of your choice and print it on any printer you own. So now you know what program I use, you know how to break down your STL file into as many pieces as you'd like, you know how to add connectors, and you know how to export it as a new STL. All that's left now is to get creative and get printing. Make sure to follow for more.